So we ought to talk about some Christmas. There are some Christmas movies that people have not seen. You know, they just kind of slip under the radar. There are obviously people go and they, everybody watches Home Alone. Everybody watches A Christmas Carol. Everybody watches It's a Wonderful Life. But there are a couple that may have slipped by. One of them some people have seen that I just love is The Bishop's Wife with uh, Cary Grant, Loretta Young, and David Niven. You have to miss The Preacher's Wife, which was a later remake. Not very good, but The Bishop's Wife is excellent. And one of the things, as I've said before, that makes Christmas movies good is if they're not just treacly, super sweet, super twee little adventures in, in everything being happy, but they have a sort of sense of human tragedy to them. And The Bishop's Wife is about a bishop who has lost his way and trying to raise money to build the cathedral. He has become so involved in what C.S. Lewis is mistaking the means for the ends. Uh, C.S. Lewis says sometimes people are so busy preaching the gospel that they forget to live by the gospel. And that's what's happened to this preacher, David Niven. Uh, it's a comedy, but in raising money, he has forgotten to pay attention to his gorgeous wife, Loretta Young, a sweet, lovely woman uh, who he, he's just kind of left behind, gotten so wrapped up in his anxiety. Cary Grant, the dapper, handsome Cary Grant, comes down as an angel to help him and starts to be kind of attracted to this beautiful wife. And it is a wonderful thing. It's not theologically sound. Of course, we know the angels are probably not attracted to human women or are tempted by human women. It doesn't matter. It makes for good drama. And it reminds us that everything comes with a price and everything. there's a, a bit of sadness to everything. And that also that Christianity, you can get lost saying Jesus, 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 just as easily as you can get lost uh, any other way. And so it's a it's a wonderful, rich movie. It's got beautiful scenes in it, uh, just super romantic, super uh, sentimental without being uh, slushy. Men and women can both watch it and enjoy it. Terrific, terrific Christmas movie. Another one that this is, I think, really obscure, but if you've missed this, I highly recommend it. It's called Remember the Night. It's 1940. It's got Fred McMurray, kind of an underrated actor. Uh, he had a TV show called My Three Sons that kind of cast him as the usual uh, suburban dad. And that kind of erased his brilliant, sometimes brilliant, uh, film career, which included the great, one of the greatest movies, American movies ever made, Double Indemnity. Uh, he links up again with his co-star, Barbara Stanwyck, from Double Indemnity for Remember the Night. And re the thing that distinguishes Remember the Night is written by the great writer-director Preston Sturgis, one of Hollywood's greatest Golden Age directors. And this was the last film that of his script that he didn't direct. This was before his directing career began. The other thing that makes it so fascinating is it is about a woman, Barbara Stanwyck, who gets caught shoplifting. And Fred McMurray is the DA who has to prosecute her. What is great about it is it does not turn away from this issue of a woman has done wrong. She's committed a crime. We have all these DAs, these Soros prosecutors who think they can solve crime by not prosecuting it. But Fred McMurray knows that's not true, that even with love and even with understanding of the criminal, there still has to be justice. And here's the moment when he he brings her home. She's stuck over the weekend. He doesn't want to leave her in jail because she's obviously a nice girl who's gone bad. So he brings her home to his really kooky family. Uh, and here's the moment when he tells his mom the truth that he's brought home a criminal. Mother. Yes, dear. I don't know whether I should tell you this or not, but I don't like to bring somebody under your roof without you knowing exactly who she is. Oh, I think I can guess. What? Oh, no, not at all. She isn't even a friend of mine. Well, I think she's charming. She reminds me of your father's cousin, Wilfred, who died when her second was born. She was a sweet, lovely thing. I was just telling your Aunt Emmy that I thought that... Yes, she is charming, Mother, but... Unfortunately, she's a crook. When we get back to New York, I'm going to try to put her in jail. But in the meantime, she didn't have any place to spend Christmas, so... Oh, the poor lamb. John, so why, you'll do no such thing. That girl's as honest as all outdoors. Why, I can tell by just looking at her face. If she did take anything, I'm sure it was entirely by mistake. She's... Well, she's probably a hypochondriac. She might be at that. She didn't really take anything. You're just making a bad joke, aren't you? No, Mother. I'm afraid it's not even her first offense. It's a terrific scene where Fred McMurray says, you know, I had all the breaks. I had white privilege. I had a family who loved me. I had you. I had my mom. You know, she didn't have those breaks. 
But, but he does not forget justice. It's an amazing, amazing, complex film because Preston Sturgis wrote it. Great performances. Nobody ever watches it. Nobody ever talks about it. Terrific Christmas film. All right, we'll get back to that in a moment. But first, look what I got. You're going to love these. (laughs) These are Kamikoto knives and cutware. I really do like nice cutware. And this is beautiful. Kamikoto makes great Japanese steel kitchen knives using traditional techniques from Japan. It comes in this great ashwood box. They only use steel that comes from mills in Japan. Absolutely beautiful and not that expensive either. It really is, uh, you can really get good deals in this. Kamikoto is currently having a massive sale. You can get an additional $50 off any purchase you make with discount code Clavin. Click the link below or go to kamikoto.com slash Clavin and use promo code Clavin to save an extra $50 today. These are really nice. They're really beautiful. And you can get them on the cheap if you use that code Clavin. Bet you want to know, right? How do you spell Clavin? Ha! Ha! What did I tell you? Yeah, I'll tell you. It's K-L-A-V-A-N. There are no E's in Clavin. I just make it look this easy. Finally, I got to put in a word for Jingle All the Way. Knowles and I may be the only people who have seen Jingle All the Way with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, usually when these action heroes try to do comedy, it is a disaster. I mean, I've, I've seen a bunch of them have just absolutely ruined comedies. Schwarzenegger, the clunkiest actor on earth, as he himself knows with the German accent, he's doing comedy in this film, he's doing comedy. Put that cookie down now! It's hilarious. The last scene of this film had me in stitches. My wife actually came into the room to see what was making me laugh so hard because it's very rare that I actually lose it while I'm watching a film. It is a really, really fun, hilarious film about a dad trying to get the, the toy that his kid wants, but everybody wants it, so it's not available. It's absolutely terrific. Jingle all the way. So those are a couple of films you might not have seen, so while you're watching, re-watching uh, Christmas Carol, while you're re-watching It's a Wonderful Life and Home Alone, you might want to take some time for Remember the Night, Jingle All the Way, and maybe especially The Bishop's Wife. All right, if you like the content here, you want to subscribe and give us a like. And if you just want to wallow in Claveny goodness, go to Apple Podcasts and also subscribe to The Andrew Claven Show. <laughs>